Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to another video. Donald from Sussex here. I hope everyone's well. So today I've come to a place called Bishop's Waltham's Palace in Hampshire. Now I've come here to explore this amazing site. It's got buildings here that date back from the 12th and 14th century. Towers, all the bishops here. Super excited. Let's get straight into it. Let's go. Right guys, we're in. Oh, it's quite big. It's not just that building there. I think there's, there's some over here as well, around the side. We'll have a look in a minute. I'll go straight for the plaque and show you guys a bit of information while we're here. Welcome to Bishop's Waltham's Palace. And there you are, guys. Bit of information, go slow so you can read it. Have a little look. Right, this should be a good one. Let's get straight into it. Right, we're gonna head over to this building first. Check this out. If I turn right, look at the size of this here. That is cool. We'll go there in a minute as well after I've gone to this building first. Right, let's go straight in. Hopefully there's a plaque on the wall so we can find out what building this actually was. Should we go in that way? Uh, I think there's another, another way in here. Oh, here we are, I can get in, here, get in this way. Oh, massive. Right. Oh, here we are. So this was the brew house and the bake house. Interesting. I wish I had my own brew house and bake house. Stop this to this. Imagine this is part of your house. Crazy. Now, if we look here, this would have been a fireplace, I believe. All the red bricks and that. That's pretty cool. Get a closer look. Now, I can't verify how old those markings are. I'm not going to lie. Let's see if we can look up. Can we look up? Oh, I can see right to the top. That's really cool. Now, again, you can see a fireplace up there, I believe. So, you obviously would have had two levels again at some, at some point in its life. But, what a cool bakery. Right, we're back out. I'm going to do, do a loop. So, it goes around here. And then I'll loop round, so we then we get through here, round there, where we are, and then back when we started over there. Right, next bit. Where are we at here? I wonder what this is. Oh, here we are. Bit of a little plaque. The chapel. The sunken area to your right is a 12th century crypt built as part of the chapel for Bishop Henry of Boss Bloss in 1476. Cardinal Beaufort replaced the upper stage of this chapel with a new one, the foundations of which can be seen here to your left. Right, so there's the crypt down there. And then to our left is the upper section, which is not much here, that bit. Here's a better view of the crypt from down below. A little bit spooky, actually, I don't know why. A little bit eerie. You can imagine people in there before, before our time. Right, moving on round, moving on round. And this palace is actually surrounded by a little moat as well. You know what I'll show you now? There she is, and she goes all the way around. All the way around there. In some parts, there's no, there's no water left, but you can see where it stretches all the way around. Sort of. Now this bit I'm excited for. Look at the size of this building here. This is the best bit of this palace for sure. Let's go explore it. Perfect, here we go. Right, the bishop's great chamber. That is why it's so big. Oh, I can't wait. Get inside there. I'll let you guys have a read as well. Getting close enough. So you guys can see. Right, let's wander. Now... Do we guys think that's a fireplace? Let me know in the comments. I'm not sure about that. I think it's a fireplace because of the red bricks and that. Right, let's move on. This would have been some great chamber. 
Just look at the size of this tower. Massive. It's cool that quite a bit of it's still here. Right, let's find out some information here. Where she is. Oh, okay, there she is. The West Tower. The tower mark in the southwest corner of the main palace dates from the 12th century. It was altered in the 14th century. And the top floor was added by Cardinal Beaufort in 1406. It housed the bishop's private apartments. Nice. Oh, that's cool. So you can see an old, an old staircase there. So don't think we can get up there. But you can see where it would have bent round and gone up in there. That is cool. We can't get up there. I don't think we can even... I'll see if I can get a closer look. I had a little climb to show you guys. So you can see what it would have been like. That is cool. Right, moving on, moving on, moving on. What is that in there? That cage thing. Let's have a look at that and see what that is. Obviously, you've got more around here. And this interests me down here. What is that? Why is that in a cage? I want to find that out. No idea what that is and what's down there. Let's go find out. So just behind the cage is a thing called the Medieval Cellar Steps. If I step back and show you guys, without losing my footing, I'm guessing around here would have been a cellar. I try and got the steps and spin around. There's not much behind me, but that's what's behind me. Would have been something there. Right, another another image of that tower that we just walked past, that western tower. Pretty cool. Turn round. That's where the cage is. And then you've got more through here. That's cool, what have you? And there's more of the moat I was telling you about. It doesn't go all the way. It runs out, you get down to about there, stops there. But you get the idea of what it would have been in its time. Now, as you can probably tell, I love coming to these places. And also, it's totally free. They do not charge you a penny to come visit these places. It's, it's awesome. So if you're ever in the area or around here, I fully recommend it. It's totally free. Now, come on the corner and look at this. This would have been your main building. The size of those windows. You can imagine what they'd have been back in their time. That's cool. We're going to head straight up the stairs and see what this plaque is and see what it says for you guys. Awesome. Right. So we are in the Great Hall. And there you guys go. So you can read a bit of that. Get some information there. I can tell you more history than I can, that's for sure. And you get an idea of how it looked as well with those windows to your right. And obviously the structure there that plaque gives you you know a good idea of the grand scale of the size of this great hall and how it once looked and so do those windows awesome right let's see what's through here shall we this is the last building i think the last big one to explore and find out what it is right oh okay here we are Another little plaque tells us where we are, what we're doing. Right, so this is the service room. The area at the end of the Great Hall was divided into three by timber partitions, which a pantry for serving bread, butter, serving wine, a passageway between them, a passage ran through to the larger space in which you are standing here. Food was repaired and serving. Oh, that's cool. Nice. So there's your main Great Hall there. And where we are is where the servants were preparing food. We'll go through this way. And this was the other bit where they did bits and bobs. Whoa. That's quite a big space. Nice. Another view here. 
Let's have a look down this well. Shall I, pre I presume this is a well. Let's have a look. Yep, just a well. Not very deep. That's it. Right, one last plaque, I promise. This is a good one, though. So, palace and tells you such and such. And it gives you a picture of what they think it would have been like or looked like back in its time. So, what if it would have been mahusive. And there's a map of where we are. So, we're there. We've done all this here. The big building on our left. There's the first one we did right at the start of the video. There's the chapel we explored. And then we come around the back here. And all through here. And look, we found out it's the remains of a doorway. That thing with the, the, the cage and the gate. That's what it is, a doorway. That's cool. Right. And there's some sort of pit here. I'm not sure what that pit is. What is that? If you know what that means, let me know in the comments, because I'm not sure. There's some sort of large pit there. Now, if you guys look over there, and you see the normal building, the orange one, obviously, that is actually a museum. But unfortunately, it's not open until May. So, can't get in there. So I'm a, I'm a few months too early, but it's a shame. But we've still had a good time exploring these amazing grounds. It's pretty awesome. What's left here is incredible. Right guys, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed exploring this, this palace with me. I, I had a great time. Learned lots, lots of history. So much here. You know, it's incredible how much is still here standing. So it was really good. So as always, Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the little subscribe button and like button if you're interested. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next one. See you very soon. Right. Bye, guys. Bye.